Welcome back to Good Day on this first day of 2024. Now, with the flip of a calendar page, many of us think everything will change. A new year, a new attitude, maybe even a new you. But why do we believe on this day we have to change? Amanda Faye sat down with counselor Allison Kerr to figure that out. Thank you, Stephen. Well, it has been going on forever. New year, new attitude. Counselor Allison Kaur joins us with why today, maybe it should just be another day. You know, we're, we are starting off fresh, though, with this new year. And I think it is sometimes important to evaluate our behavior and see maybe where we need to make some changes. So... Is, is that the first step, figuring out why you want to make change? I think that's a great place to start. And I also think that it is important to remember that this is a time of reflection. I feel like the new year, it just, that is sort of what our culture has brought forward as something that's important to do right now is to think about those, you know, that you can call them New Year's resolutions. But really, I think about them more as just intentions like is my life going in the direction that I want it to go can I see oh mm, that's a red flag or a barrier or something that I could change or I want to improve on or um, that yeah okay maybe I'm going this way but I would like to maybe steer the ship a little bit in a different mm -hmm. direction and I think that thinking about it in sort of those micro decisions is the most sustainable way to go so it's not all about you know I'm going to lose 150 pounds in three months. Well, <laughs> really, that would be quite remarkable. It but would be, yes. <laughs> but it's about what can I be doing each day, kind of each moment, each hour, each whatever, when I'm come to a choice point to say, mm -hmm. am I going to go on the path I'm on, or I'm going to guide myself towards something different? Yeah. And how do we kind of figure out? You know why certain things aren't working and you know why hey maybe we have tried to make some changes in the past and it just hasn't worked for us mm -hmm. well i do think it's again it's good to be reflective on that because mm -hmm. a lot of these negative patterns or negative behaviors or negative choices we're making they're doing something for us so for example if you are somebody who at the end of the night you put your kids to bed or whatever you're decompressing from work and you're reaching for food mm -hmm. like that's your sort of thing to help mm -hmm. decompress okay that's maybe a pattern that I should shift because I can see that that's maybe not supportive of my health or or my life or I would like to replace that well sometimes I think it's useful to take a step back and say well why am I doing that in the first place what is it actually doing for me because we as humans don't just do things to do them usually we do things because they are they are somehow helping us kind of get to the next step mm -hmm. so perhaps you need to replace that behavior then with something that is providing like that relief sometimes just like you know eating your favorite I don't know whatever it is <laughs> snack on the couch yeah. like it just helps relax you or it helps again, provide relief or take the edge off or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so thinking about its function and then it's very, well, I wouldn't say easy, but you could you replace that with something that would hopefully provide a similar mm -hmm. sort of feeling, but maybe is more on the track that you want to be on. Maybe reading a book instead. Sure. <laughs> <For> Knitting, sure. <laughs> I do sometimes. Uh, yeah, so just identifying those things. Mm -hmm. And it's not, as you mentioned, you're not going to lose 150 pounds or whatever in three months. So it is about small stuff. Steps, right and building on that absolutely it's sort of like there's that I, mythological um, like where they're pushing the rock up the the hill right and once you get the rock going it does feel a little more sustainable but that first kind of like lift to get things moving it does take more time energy intention you kind of just have to really be focused but then yes you get used to making kind of these micro decisions that will help keep the ball rolling and then you'll be able to make bigger, more substantial decisions when you have that confidence that like, okay, I can choose this instead of this and here's why I'm doing that and I just need to continue the momentum. Mm -hmm. And you keep see those results and, and that helps too. Mm -hmm. How do we get those around us to help maybe support some of our goals too? Because I think sometimes that can be difficult. Absolutely, I mean, there can be a reason that we are choosing what we're choosing and that can sometimes be because of our environment or sort of our our support system is maybe reinforcing some negative behaviors or eliciting maybe some some emotional intensity that we need to just quickly kind of like take the edge off with and we're choosing maybe something that isn't in our highest good um, I think it is useful for us to think about what that support would look like and to also think what is the capacity of those around us to be able to support us in this way so you may not be able to call upon 
on your support system to really be a rah-rah cheerleader or to help, <laughs> uh, whatever that would be, because for whatever reason, they aren't able to show up for you in that way. And that's okay, mm -hmm. but it's just about being realistic, I think, about what support looks like and how it can be delivered. And if people aren't able to come alongside you for whatever reason, to just encourage them to just be neutral, to just, mm. you know, let's just not talk about it then, mm -hmm. if you aren't able to kind of support me in the way that I'm needing. And I think that is where therapy can come in really handy, you know, sometimes having that support system in that way. And I think we are in a time now where, you know, it's not taboo anymore necessarily to be like, I need to call my therapist or I need to check in, you know. So uh, talk a little bit about that in this new year, how people can, this could be a good time, maybe if you've never, you know, seen a therapist or talk to someone, now might be a good time. Absolutely. And I think especially when you're looking at your life and you're saying, I don't know if I'm heading in the direction that I want to go, but I'm not sure how to get there. Like, I don't know how to write the ship or find a new path or whatever metaphor you want to use. Using a therapist can be an excellent way to explore all of that in a way where we as therapists come into your life as a neutral third party. You know, I know what you tell me about you, and I, um, it's not my job to really have skin in the game on what you decide. I am here to be a source of reflection, to be a source of um, problem solving and coping skills and just because sometimes when you have somebody come in and say, hey, I'm noticing this over here, you may be completely blind to whatever that is because your perspective is over here. And having somebody come in and, and listen to you and get to know you and learn about your history and all that important things um, and then offer that supportive reflection and offer that um, problem solving and collaboration to help you get to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great advice this morning as we embark on a new year, new us, <laughs> as we we'll like see. to say. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank we you. appreciate it. And we'll have more Good Day coming up right after this.